Okay, um, I'm gonna try making a long-form video of this detector. Um, I just got this in the mail today. Um, it only took two days to arrive. Uh, it was supposed to arrive next Monday. But, it's here, so, I guess I shouldn't really complain. Um, you might have seen these on eBay. There was like a listing of nine, I believe. All of them were sold in a day. Um, and I was one of the lucky few that got one. Um, so, I'll show. I'll show the back. It is the FXC-1. Made by FireX, and it's got the old FireX logo. Um, yeah. Um, and this, of course, has a line cord. Um, which is what makes it rare. Um, it also uses a tiered button. Um, and it came with the box, which there's nothing in here, so... Um, then, it's mounting hardware, which is in a really thick plastic. Um, it's really weird. Really weird material. Um, and then the manual, of course. Um, some of you guys probably know that I got another FireX detector this year, um, which is the FXB-1A, um, and it also has a tiered button, and it came with the same manual, except it had some writing here. And on both the manuals, it has the FXB-1. And I know that because it doesn't say test around the button. So, yeah. um, so, I guess we can read the manual. Pause if you want to read anything. Here, I'll turn off the light. Pause if you want to read anything there. Then we'll... Manual here. Pause if you want to read any of that. Pause if you want to read any of this. I do not like reading through the manuals unless I'm bored. So anyways, um, this unit came out, I believe at the same time, if not around the same time as the FXW-1. And I know it for sure it came out at, at least uh, the same time as the FXB-1, which of course did not have a test button, because it's advertised in the FXB-1 manual and in my FXB-2 manual. So they made this for quite a while. Um, and the bracket fell off. Um, and I believe these were the first, um, the first, I believe it was, these were the first ones that ever pop up on eBay that we know of, that we have recorded. So it's a pretty significant um, moment. It was a pretty significant moment. And uh, like I said, I purchased it basically immediately after I saw it. And I got it for a really good price. I sent an offer. I got it down to 20 bucks for the full price. And then it was 15 shipping, I believe. So it was around $35 in all, not including tax. Um, and I did test this and I will be testing it. It does work. I'm not going to be removing this because it just it just feels wrong. Um, I want to keep it as original as possible. Um, what else do I have to say about the, this unit? I guess there's really not much else to say. So um, let's give it a test. I have an extension cord running at the moment, right here. 
let's see. There it is. It works. Okay. Let's give it a test. I'm gonna cover this up because it's pretty darn loud. That's all you're gonna get. Um, so yeah, it works. It uses the electromechanical horn, um, which I should probably turn back on the flashlight. The electromechanical horn, as you can see there and here, um, then uses the same sensor as my um, as the FXB dash one A that I got not too long ago, so, yeah. I'm really, really happy that I was able to get this unit. Um, I think I even said in the video for this one that I would like to get one of these, and I was able to get, get one, of course, and I'm happy that I have it. Um, one of the cooler alarms I've gotten in a long time. It could even be my rarest detector, I'm not too sure though. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you probably tomorrow. Bye.